sitting on my floor. Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I'm just going to be sharing with you a little Dollar Tree camping haul. We are going to be, by the time this video airs, we will already have gotten home, but oh, we must see the transformer we got at the Dollar Tree as well. Thank you, Owie. I'm sure everybody loves it. Um, but again, like I said, by the time this video airs, we'll already have gotten home, but I wanted to share um, just a little bit of the things that I've got. I'm going to be cleaning my mom's RV today too. Uh, I might show you like a before and after of that. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how I feel about it. Anyhow, let's go ahead and jump in to what I got strictly at the Dollar Tree. So now we will be grilling uh, some chicken when we go. So I got, this is just um, like a disposable foil, uh, foil pan and then it's got the lid to keep the buggies away for sure. So that. I got a dishwashing tub. Uh, I have one already to wash and I needed one to rinse so I got that. I got uh, a, some command strips. This isn't for the trip, but it's for my son. He wanted uh, command strips. He likes to um, like tinker. So I just get stuff like that for him to kind of like fool with um, here at the house. Um, command strips obviously aren't gonna damage anything permanently. <laughs> I went ahead and got a carabiner. I have a couple of large carabiners that I bring with me when we go hiking. I put them on my backpack or sometimes uh, I'll even put them on my stroller. And I'll like attach water bottles or um, like hand sanitizer, stuff like that. So I got an extra one. I thought this was really cool. This is um, a travel dressing uh, container and it's like silicone. You can see that it's kind of like soft and squishy. I'm actually gonna be using this to pack some cooking oil. So I don't think we'll be needing a whole lot and I will be bringing butter as well, but I wanted just just a little something for cooking oil and I figured this would be a nice space saver uh, in my kind of mobile pantry. Let's see. I got a couple of travel pouches. I guess these would probably be considered cosmetics bags, but I use, if you've seen like what I have in my purse or clean out my purse video, um, uh, yesterday I shot uh, what I pack in Legoland. You know that I love pouches for travel. So I picked up a couple more. I'll probably do like a little mini pharmacy with like Tylenol, kids Tylenol, um, maybe some Allegra, stuff like that. And then I'll find a use for this one. I always do. But I thought those were actually kind of like not ugly. So <laughs> that's kind of nice. I went ahead and picked up this hey, this brush. This is specifically for vegetables, but I will probably be using this to either do dishes, probably to clean my cast iron and like um, my tongs and stuff. Uh, so I brought that along. Mm. I don't know. I saw these at the Dollar Tree. These are like uh, their cheapy version of space bags where you pack them and then you vacuum out the air. I don't know how well these are gonna work, but for a buck, I'm willing to give it a shot. Um, it says, gosh, it says they're large. So I might put like our, you can see there's towels there. I might put our towels in here or maybe even like, um, I don't know, maybe even like my clothes, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this works. Hopefully this works well. Uh, cause I was kind of excited. I'd never seen these at the Dollar Tree before. This is really cool. And if it works and saves me space, all the better. So I got three of those. Let's see. I went ahead and picked up these water bottles. I'm actually not going to use these for water. My kids uh, use metal when we go out. They have metal water bottles from Zach. I really like them. Um, but I'm actually going to, I saw a hack where you crack all of your eggs ahead of time and you put them into a container in your, um, in your cooler so they don't break. Uh, so I'm going to actually be doing that and I'll put them in this, um, 
We'll see how many they hold, but this comes with two in case I need extra space. So I got that. Specifically for that, I have some foam hand washing soap. Um, I usually don't buy the individual bottles. I usually buy the large refills um, just to cut down on like plastic and it, it's actually a better deal anyway. Uh, but I bought this for camping and I figured the foam would be nice. Um, probably use a little bit less water. Um, really only need it to rinse. So I have this. Let's see. I bought some D batteries. I bought a $10 portable fan or it was nine dollars a portable fan from target and requires d batteries um i have a set brand new in there but we are going to be <laughs> we are going to be in the coachella valley it's going to be pretty hot most of the time so that fan will probably be working overtime in the tent um so i got an extra set in case we run out and then i got this guy, what I'm actually going to do with this, it's a little travel caddy uh, bottles. I do have travel bottles that I've had for years and years. Um, but these ones are a little bit smaller and they've got, it comes in this little baggie with a shower puff. And then it's got this little um, like hangy thingy. I don't know what you call it. Um, I'm actually going to uh, put this on a lanyard so that when I go into the showers, I don't actually have to um, like my hands will be free basically and I don't have to have my stuff on the floor. I thought that was a really great hack. I saw that on um, on Pinterest. So I got those. And then another thing that I saw on Pinterest for dollar store camping hacks was to use shower caps to cover food, like to put over a plate to keep the bugs away. Um, and I thought that was a pretty good idea. Like if we chop up some fruit and stuff for the kids, um, or even have like donuts out on a plate, um, and you move away or you're setting up dinner and you move away. I thought that was a really great idea. So I have this, this comes with six total. So not bad for a buck. Um, just got a teeny, teeny, tiny, um, SPF, this is mainly for faces. I do have the spray children's SPF that I really like using to apply sunscreen for my kids, um, for their bodies. Uh, that one is SPF 50. I get my sunscreen at Target. It's usually a better buy. Um, but I figured this would be really, really great for faces because, um, nobody likes to spray their face <laughs> with aerosolized, um, with aerosolized sunscreen. So I got that. Uh, a random tube of bath paint, a request by O, that obviously won't be going with us. Now I have tongs for my grill that are pretty long and heavy duty. I just got an extra set just in case, um, like to move coals around, stuff like that. So I picked that up. Let's see. I got some glow sticks. These are for the kids for the campground at night. Uh, a, glow sticks are fun. They love them and it'll kind of give me an idea where they are if our campsite's super dark. I can't imagine it will be like crazy, crazy dark. Um, we're going in like an actual campground where they have slots and they have hookups and things like that. And uh, they have like showers and toilets and things. So we're not doing like hardcore camping. Um, it's more like car camping. So I got those. And then the last two things are just a couple of things to keep the kids busy. I got um, a lawn dart game. I figured they could play with this, even if they just throw them around, that's cool by me. I'm going to try to keep them <laughs> off of electronics as much as possible. We will bring their tablets, but hopefully we won't use them. I also bought like a little, uh, like a cheap kiddie pool, uh, like an inflatable one for them to play with. Uh, because the lake that we're going to, uh, you can't actually swim in it anymore. It's not allowed, which is unfortunate. And the pool that's at the campground is closed as well. So I figured they could get wet. It's going to be crazy hot. Well, actually for there, it's not going to be too hot. It's going to be in the low 90s. Uh, but it's going to be it's going to be hot for little kids to be out all day. And I figured them swimming around in the pool would be nice. And then I got this... Um, Dollar Tree version. It's like Kerplunk. Do you remember Kerplunk? It's like a mini version Dollar Tree knockoff where you um, put the balls in with the rods and you have to pull the rods out and if the balls drop you lose. So I thought that would be fun for them too. We are going to be bringing um, Uno which is my son's favorite card game. It's a lot of fun if you've never played. 
we're gonna be playing Skippo, which I like, which is, which is another card game. Um, fishing rods. Again, the kids will have the pool. Uh, my sisters and I can BS with my mom <laughs> and the guys can fish and I don't know, maybe we'll have a beer or two and we're gonna make s'mores, yes, things like that. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. Um, really quickly, let me go ahead and show you since I'm here doing this haul and I bought these two items specifically for the trip. Uh, these two items that I'm going to show you now, I got at Target, and it's the little inflatable pool and then the um, electric fan that I got as well. So let me go ahead and grab those. Okay, so this is by Sun Squad, which is a line from Target. This is their kiddie pool. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty small. This was $15. Bucks. Um, well worth it if it gives us a couple of hours of play for them, especially my four-year-old because he's not really going to be uh, fishing so much. We do have like a toy fishing line that he can play with, but um, I can't imagine that that will keep him occupied for more than an hour or two during the day. And it will get hot, so I figured they could cool off in this. So I got this, and even if they don't end up using it, I can stuff it full of blankets and pillows, and I have like a bug-free zone for them as well. And then I went ahead and picked up this electrical fan. It's, you can see it compared to my head, which is long, but not crazy big. My face is long, uh, but anyhow, uh, it's pretty decent. It can be kind of, uh, that kind of pumps out the batteries are in here. It looks almost like a, an eyeglass case. In fact, this part's about the size of an eyeglass case. And then it's got two settings. It's pretty quiet. This one, you can hear it's pretty quiet. It's got pretty good airflow. So I thought this was nice. A great investment for travel <laughs> um, and uh, the this one was nine dollars again it uses 2d batteries I always get my batteries at the Dollar Tree uh, it's pretty good price I think I haven't been like tent camping we will be staying in a tent the kids will be in an RV with my mom um, her RV sleeps six and the rest of the grown-ups uh, my sister her husband me and my husband and my dad will be in um will be in tents so um i haven't been tent camping since i was a kid i'm really looking forward to it i loved camping i love the outdoors um mainly when we stay in the woods we're usually like at an airbnb cabin so this will be it's not really roughing it because we have access to showers and plumbing and electricity but it'll be like semi roughing it and hopefully it'll give the kids a little bit of a, a hint of what camping camping is all about and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay really quickly I forgot to add if you are looking for a great YouTube channel for camping tips, hiking tips, backpacking tips, food recipes you know is there any is there any other kind of recipe <laughs> there probably is but like camping recipes um help for beginners when it comes to camping I'm going to link a great channel um, down below in the description box. I'll probably throw it up in a card too right here. It's called Amanda Outside. This young lady is an experienced, again, she is an experienced camper, biker, or camper, hiker, uh, backpacker. She's got a lot of great tips, a lot of great organizational videos. She shows how she sets up a like simple two person tent camping when she goes car camping. She has like a bunch of different vlogs too. She has a bunch of recipes. She has a great like instant coffee tryout to see which one is the best instant coffee when you're backpacking. It's just a really great resource. I watched probably half of her videos in the last few days. So I will link her uh, down below. And again, I will put her up in a card and I always like to give credit where credit is due. So uh, just thought I'd mention that. Anyhow guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care for now.